Why? Okay, hello. Zios Pantera. It's your reviews. And we're here with um, not one, but two more CD players. Yeah, that's fucking right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. This one, just under $700, provided by Apos.audio. Um, this is the SMSL uh, PL200. Which is a, a home unit designed, you know, with the it's reading the disc now. We're gonna play. We're gonna, we've got really nice metal keys. Okay. So to acts again, as a preamp. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna pull this off and we'll look at it. Uh, acts as a CD transport. It's actually fiber optic down to the Aries and then back up to, to the VMV. So I could be like really listen to I really get it. and then and then because my life isn't fucking living hell um we have a <clears throat> portable cd player this son of a bitch son of a just you know what i'm not even gonna stop just threw my fucking kph 40s onto the ground god mm. look everybody i'm gonna be fucking honest with you I love some of these companies. Shanling. I love Shanling. Apos sends me all sorts of things. This is from Apos. And they send me these things like, hey, guess what? We've got this exciting new product. And guess what? I hate the concept of going back to this. By the way, this is fear and loathing. I hate this concept. I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. I'm going to have a literal freak out on YouTube. This is going to be the moment. This is the fucking moment. This is the thing. The, the picture doesn't do justice. Why are we here? It's like I'm entered in crazy town. Did COVID get everyone the crazies? Why the fuck are CDs coming back? I, I was like a joke the first time around when I did the review two months ago of like, hey, hey look, we've got CD players. That's, that's kind of funny. But they just keep coming. I'm trying to pause things and I can't because it's a fucking CD. I right. actually know. Whereas the SMSL PL fucking 200 is legitimately a CD player um, which has these really nice metal buttons that are basically keycaps with metal so they feel really satisfying to like um, we'll walk around uh, there's a headphone out there's uh, balanced outputs there's RCA outputs which are going to the amplifier down there to run the speakers the mon Su Platinum on mini super mon minis it's got a coaxial and a fiber optic output so you could hook this cd player up to your DAC. there's a usb so you could use this as your fucking usb DAC, and it's got bluetooth i believe so you can bluetooth to it i don't think you know what i don't actually you know, you know what i don't actually know Oh, it also <laughs> has an MQA logo on it. Like this wasn't enough of a fucking stressful goddamn review that has to be MQA CDs. I wanted to slam my hand down so hard, but I would have hit the Shanling and the Fear and Loathing CD, which I borrowed. I had to go to my friend's house and be like, hey man, can I borrow your CDs? And he's like, I don't know. Yeah, sure. So let's see what else I got. This is this is more interesting. Um Historia Prat Keating, The Guardian at Noon, which I've never heard this one, but he said, here, try that, that's good. We've got oh the Guardians of the Galaxy Awesome Mix Volume 1. Uh Guardians Volume 2. Because this is all music I know. Because if I'm assessing a fucking CD player, it's gotta be music I know. And guess what I don't fucking own? CDs. Alright. I'm trying to squeeze the camera to get sense into it. None of this is going to reach the manufacturers. This video will never get popular enough to have manufacturers see it and hear my logic. So it's up to you guys to, to just vote your opinion in the comments here. Go to Hi-Fi Guides on the forum. Buy a bidet with the link in the description. See how it's link a bidet because at least they could use that. The money from the... the this is... This is $360. This is nearly seven. And right in the middle between those two price ranges, you could buy a bidet right now. For buy a bidet. All right. You want a better argument that have something you could use two, three times a day that warms your ass versus a CD player, which, all right. 
I need to know. I need to know in the comments. Like, before I have my freak out, I'm calming down a little bit, which is probably not good for a video. How many of you people actually, honestly, are looking for a CD player in 2024 that have a collection of CDs that... Right, so here's the thing. This Shandling player was just playing music, right? Here, look, if I put it on the screen, it's playing Mr. Robot. There's even a thumbnail picture. So this is its own little standalone desk unit, but this fucker comes with a handle and a, a, a strap. So you could strap it on and go for a walk. And guess what? I've done it in my basement. It skips. CD players from fucking 1998 didn't skip. This one skips. You do any, of course, it's not exactly like, it's light. I'll pull it out of this case. It's all metal. And it's a slot load, which is very fucking cool. But bouncing it around for more than like four or five seconds, and she just, 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 just I'm like, what the fuck is the point? Number one, what is the point? Here, I brought this out. This is a Shandling DAP digital audio player. Look, it even does MQA. But look at it. Look, it's got a micro SD card. Just like this has a micro SD card. In fact, I took the micro SD card out of this and put it in this. Because when you're not playing a CD with the CD slot load button thing, you can actually just plug in an SD card and it acts like a normal DAP. Look, I could pick songs, I could change the songs up. If I tap that, then how did I do this? There you go, you go library, you go all songs. Look, look how convenient that is. Oh no, return. Can I even do letter searches? I'm trying to return. This is the, there we go, okay, per perfect. Oh, that's this is great, this is not great. I'm, look, for a few of the companies that send me these things, this is not about you and your build quality or your or your customer service. This is about my fucking sanity now. <laughs> because I have been doing this for a decade and I am not prepared to spend any amount of time trying to support a format that while should exist because it's the only guaranteed way we can get losses stuff to ourselves and to own it, I still think these should be a thing. I absolutely do. I'm for Blu-rays, DVDs can fuck off. I'm for Blu-rays, I'm for CDs. These are physical media, we own them. That means you own Fear and Loathing. It's not like a subscription service like Spotify where tomorrow, oh yeah, no, you know how all that music you like? Yeah, well we lost the rights to it because it's now going to go to a fucking Potter stream only in Korea, so we won't get it back. But don't worry, you'll get your music back in a couple years. No, fuck you. I want to own my music physically. The problem being, it's 2024. I picked this mouse pad because this bitch is wearing a goddamn fucking virtual headset. We're in virtual. There is fucking no need for this to come with us to play our music. If I install this, here, watch. Wake up. Wow, it's a... Uh... Did you die? Do I have to put it in CD mode before it accepts the disc? Oh, that's a... This is a whole... We're having a whole other fucking reason to yell about this now. Hold on. So let's see, low gain playback mode. We got to get to the other mode, which, by the way, is fucking annoying to do anything here. Here we go. CD play. Oh, that's fucking dumb. Because I hadn't tried it like that. Because I'll try it in the video. It literally doesn't enable the CD tray power unless you're in CD mode. So I'm just almost jamming it in there, breaking something. I'm fucking, fucking God, why is this thing? Why am I doing this? Oh, Lord. I like the knob on the SMSL. There's a reason for vinyl to still be around because it's it's old and it's kind of quaint and it's got lots of big artwork and people have had collections. It was like the only music format for like 50 fucking years, maybe longer since the 20s, from the 20s to the fucking 70s. That was it. 50 years. Records. CDs came out in the 80s and I would say CDs died 
in the 2000s, so 30 years. 2010s, 30 years CD domination. But now we, it's just, we, and you can make an argument that vinyls do sound different than like a digital copy, but a CD's digital. Why are we fighting digital with worse digital? Worse digital. It's just, well, I did the calculations. Here, I'll do the calculations with you. You ready? <clears throat> I own a one terabyte micro SD card. That is one million megabytes, roughly. You know, obviously it's less than that. So let's say I had a bunch of CDs and those are 650 megabytes, which is the maximum capacity. A lot of them are smaller than that. We can fit 1,538 of these on something as big, uh, get the fuck out of there, as this. So what would you rather have? 1,500 of these or one of these? 1,500 of these that you have to swap to make them do things. Might as well get that playing, by the way. 1,500 of these or one of these. Why are we going in reverse? What are we doing? Why is every company jumping on this bandwagon? Who started this bandwagon? How do we shoot them? With a gun. The bandwagon starters. We need... We need to stop. We need to stop. I love Shandling. Shandling makes amazing products. This fucking thing was so cool with the screen and the buttons and the front loading and I put the foam on it and it could just sit there on a plane tray and it has the volume knob, next track, last track, and a big beautiful screen. Here, wait, where's my card? I gotta put my card back. What's playing? That's playing? So, and then this, I, so here, I don't know where I wanna go. I don't even know where I wanna go. I'm gonna pause. So let's, this one's pretty basic. It's got great buttons. It's got a nice metal lid. It's got a magnetic holder that you have to take off, which this wasn't a thing back when CDs, back in my day. So you take your Pulp Fiction CD out, you drop it in there, then you drop the magnet and it locks it in place. Then you, it doesn't work with it opens. So you gotta put the fucking lid on it. And then it reads, and it's got next track, last track, stop and play pause. Boom, play, next track, next track, next track. It's a CD player. It has a good DAC, it has good balanced outputs, it acts as a preamp, whatever. This one, the fucking Shandling, this one hurts me a little bit. Because you're making it, you're making a, you're making a Walkman, a CD Walkman, right? Is that what we're assuming here, folks? Hey, you know what it sounds like? Flack. Um, so you're making a CD Walkman in the year of our Lord, 2023, and you've decided that, uh, I'll, I'll birth it from its fucking canal. This is the, sh I mean, look, half, hashtag respect for going with the, oh, did you hear that? I spun it and the disc went, Rrr. You know what doesn't do that? CD players from the late 90s, early 2000s. So you get 4.4, 3.5, power, CD button, play, pause, stop, eject, and your volume rocker. Notice all the fingerprints around this because this front's glass. That's fancy. Then you got a little screen up here, which you saw me interact with before, with your next and last track on it, which is way too fucking small to navigate for most things. So even if I hit power to turn that screen on, there's nothing in front to indicate anything. There's not even a power. We go up here and we've got, okay, next track. We see 16 of two and it plays and there's our time and there's a battery percentage. Seven and a half hours play time, wireless. This thing is fucking heavy, by the way. Two 18650 cells, which I'm assuming you could get into if you ripped this whole thing apart, if you needed to change them. Um, But now... The hardest thing about this was like telling it to not play a CD and to play something else. This is a Bluetooth receiver as well. So you could strap this fucker on your shoulder and it becomes the world's most awkward dongle DAC or, or Bluetooth receiver. It's, it's the BTR5, but BTR75 fucking ounces. 
The headphone amplifier is very good. It's one quarter of a watt through the balanced. Moving on. Um, I, uh, let's look at the back of it. <sighs> I'm trying to be calm. I'm trying to be calm. Analog outputs. You have RCA outputs. If I wanted to hook these speakers through that amp up to this, you can do it. Here's your micro SD card. Here's your USB DAC plug. So that in case, whatever reason, and this would honestly be probably the best case scenario for this, you have a computer which has, I don't know, this thing called the internet. Ask fucking Al Gore about the internet. You can plug your computer into the internet through the USB DAC and you can get Spotify and you can get Tidal and you can get whatever the fuck else you want to play you know, locally. You have a charge USB port. You've got two holes, which I'm not sure if those are lights or actually those might be charge lights or reset buttons. And then you have a, the Bluetooth antenna here. And then right there, you have a switch, which I didn't think this would have. It's an in-vehicle mode on and off switch, which would basically, if it's anything like every other DAP, when they have in-vehicle mode on and you put the charge thing, when you turn your ignition on in your car, your USB turns on, this would turn on. What are you doing with this in your car? Are, do they sell an adapter kit to mount it? Because guess what? You don't have next track, last track on the fascia. It's on the top. So what the fuck are you doing with this in an in-car mode? Shanling, why does this exist? I'm ejecting the CD because it's just spinning around now. I'm not going to listen to it. It does do a cool slot load thing, though. Wait. Ooh. I don't get this comeback. I fucking don't get this comeback. I don't get it. I don't get it. Vinyl is so inconvenient that it almost makes sense. You have to set it up on like a perfectly level platform. You have to balance the tone arm. What material are you using? Are you gonna get the nice cartridge? You're gonna get a vintage record from the fucking 60s. You're gonna play that? You can get a new pressing. There's, there's a hobby to that. A CD player is just, yeah, I got some, some CDs. That's it. There's no joy. Hey, I burned that CD in 1997 on an old Philips 8X. Yeah, let's see if it still works. Oh, it doesn't. Bit rot. All right, next. There's no romance to CDs. CDs were a thing that was better than vinyl because it didn't fuck up, it didn't skip, it didn't have noise, there was no pops and cracks. If it got damaged, it cost $8. You bought another one. There's not, so, these. this was a thing so that you didn't have to care for your things like you did for vinyl where it was gonna get scratched and worn out and the needle. This was so easy. Now we've moved about 500 steps beyond that to where we could either download things or we could stream them off the internet or I could ask fucking Alexa to play it and it just happens. And yeah, that might seem a little bit impersonal. I get that. That's why I still will be okay and support people who are into vinyl because you want to sit down, you want to focus for like whatever the fuck a side of a record is, 30 minutes of like, I'm doing this activity to listen to music and I can't be distracted. Whereas, you know, just asking Alexa to play something randomly is like, yeah, that's super fucking easy. There needs to be a middle ground. This is not that middle ground. This is like me selling a floppy disk reader that could read one song compressed to high hell, but it'll play that one song and you got to put it in. It's got to go, and it's got to buffer the whole song and then play it. Is that better? Does that make the music better? No. Inconvenience very rarely makes anything better. Please, examples in the comments. So, this will not be my last CD review. CD player review, CD... It just won't be. I love... Shanling, I love you. You make great portables. These headphone out of this sounds amazing. But I'm literally never, ever, 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 fucking ever going to pull a CD out and listen to it straight through or shuffled for listening to music. It's 2024. This, this is stupid. This is the stupidest fucking thing I've ever seen. I was going to try to like, I was so fucking bricked up going into this goddamn, and I'm redefining what bricked up means. Bricked up means backed up. Bricked up means stopped up. Bricked up means fucking aggravated. They're like, uh, how am I going to talk about these? How am I going to give shine a light on these? Uh, fuck it. You know what? Don't shine any light. Let's dig a hole together as a community, six feet deep, and just bury all these new CD players in it. All right? 
bury them, fucking bury them. If I went through this some more, so here, there's no disc. I took the disc out. I want to play the card. Swipe far left. Okay, you get a menu. Now there's fucking six different things. We got to scroll all the way over. We got past system. You go to CD play, local file, USB DAC, Bluetooth input, playback system, CD play, local file. Do not, for the life of you, go to update library and get stuck in a loop like I did because there was 7,000 songs in that SD card. And I hit update and I waited 12 minutes for it to fucking scan all 7,000. And then when I want to try to escape by swiping all the fucking directions, it started again. And it only keeps as many as it scans the second time. So there's only like a thousand on there now because I'm fuck. <sighs> Artist genre mobile more. Let's see what more is. Recent, my favorites recently. So it's trying to be a, f and you would think one of these would be back. No disc. These do not control the menu. I thought hitting CD would bring me back because this doesn't need to be a CD button. The, I don't know. The CD button just brings you back to the CD menu. So you got to go back out to this. You got to go back to local file. You got to go local file. You got local fucking file. What the hell is wrong with you now? All songs. The screen is. All right. I got pretty big hands. My thumb completely covers it. The unit is massive. I get it. It's only $360. It's a screen you could fucking afford. But, and this is, this isn't even what you're going to do with it. There's no one who, if you're buying one of these, please, please stop in the comments. Tell me if you're buying an EC Mini. If you're buying an EC Mini from Shandling, please let me know if you're buying it to play with the fucking micro SD card slot in the back, which by the way, I won't because I pulled it out, but it still hasn't checked. So it still thinks they're all in there, but it doesn't matter because if I hit play, it's going to freak out and be like, file not found. Okay, great. Shut off, please. Shut off. Please, please, please. Don't, don't let this come back. This is There's no need for this. I am... I know none of my words will make it out there. I mean, it took like the entire community to literally cause MQA to rebrand and file for bankruptcy because that was bullshit. But now, this is not bull... This is physically media, and I like physical media. I want it to stay around. I want to be able to go online and buy that album that I can't find after 10 years and rip it myself in a CD-ROM, which I'll have to install with USB because there's none built on my computer. The, the format's done, right? It needs to exist in small quantities for collectors and archivers and so that we as people of the world, not even America as the world, can have a physical copy of music so that it isn't owned by some big conglomerate that could just unstream it if they felt like it. But at the same fucking time, ain't nobody should be doing this. Ain't nobody. Ain't nobody ever. All right? I just, uh, if I, it used to be where I went to audio shows, I'd bring a CD I burned. Because most of those rooms I went into had a CD player of some sort that was playing. They were taking requests. Now, every single one of them is just cool buzz. Quobas, 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 Quobas. They're just all streaming. You can bring a USB key if it's even possible to plug it into their laptops or usually MacBooks. It's not formatted right, blah, blah, blah. Ugh. This is an, uh, this is, this is, I feel like I just went to a therapy fucking session. Thank God these were just hugging my head that entire time. Just like, home, oh, relax, relax, guy. Is the Pulp Fiction soundtrack is perfect because I feel like I'm going to go Tarantino on all the CD players. What else is there to say? I literally, like, if you don't think I reviewed these to their proper levels, you do it. I give you permission. I give you every right to just start a YouTube channel. Send me your review of the PL200. I'll tweet about it. Send me your review of the EC Mini. I'll fucking tweet about it. Because I'm not taking it seriously. Because I don't, I don't have... I love music. I started this whole thing because no one else seemed to be treating it properly. It was all graphs and very, very... Oh, the, this thing doesn't use the proper Japanese... I don't give a fuck. The whole reason I'm good at this is because I don't give a fuck. I'm the Dos Equis guy. I don't often drink beer, but when I do, it's the reviews. I'm here to have a good time. 
and I'm here to have a good time for cheap, usually. And sometimes I can be convinced that an expensive thing will give me another good time, maybe a better time than the cheaper stuff I like. And you know what? I'll accept that. It's taken me years to accept that. But I fucking flat out refuse to go along with this meta. If this is the meta, you could bury it. You could burn it. You could mark it with a T and put it in the oven for baby and me. Because I am fucking done. Now, again, I love these companies. I love SMSL and APOS. I love Shanling, who sent me this directly. And there's other Shanling CD players, bigger ones. And I almost would be okay with their more expensive... Like, that's the thing. I was going to those audio shows, and there were $70,000 amps and $40,000 DAX and $22,000 CD players. And I don't care if there's a $22,000 CD player. Because those people are crazy. But you make a $360 one that's intended for me to walk the fuck around with? That's for normies. That's a normie price for normal people. You're getting into my zone here now. Get out of my zone. Get the fuck out of... Keep keep your weird shit out of the people who I'm trying to hone into better music listeners. To informed, quality people who understand we need both quality and convenience. And we need to let the past fucking die. Let it die. You can, you can die as long as you stay in an archive and don't have to come out. Never. It was the weirdest thing because I put on music down here. I went upstairs to like make a sandwich and it came down and it was stopped because the CD ran out because it was 44 minutes long. I haven't had music just stop on its own in forever. You can't walk away from a record player like a full vinyl because that'll go. T -t 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 -t. You don't want that. Was, oh my God. This is not the flashback I'm looking for. And I don't know if it is for you either. Anyway, I'm done. To support these ramblings, and oh, believe me, I need you on this one, Patreon and Subscribestar, support this channel. Check out that link to Bio Bidet, where I'll get a percentage back on that bidet if you buy it. Um, the wallpaper, of all the wallpaper hoard. Um, for $5 a month, you get to see these reviews early, and Lord knows there's going to be comments waiting for you puppies. Once this goes public, there's going to be patron comments, probably a week, two weeks old. Just sitting there and just being hilarious and fucking great. So, uh, yeah, support the, the video. See videos early. So, uh, 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 I'm probably keeping both of these. Most companies don't ask for things back. So you can expect all future CD players and things to be in the yard sale. That's another reason I will still accept them and then fucking complain. It's because I'm going to sell them. And you should bid exactly what you think they're worth. That's that's the beauty part. Because if you think that's worth eighty nine forty five, even though it's a like seven hundred dollar unit, bid eighty nine forty five, and I'll send it to you. Plus shipping if you live outside the continental United States. Also get to loss of sound demos for five dollars a month. All sound demos now exist only there. You can also go to my Patreon and subscribe store and for free see IEM reviews that haven't been released yet. So these sorts of reviews hidden behind a paywall. Those reviews public. Go find them there. And then for $10 a month, private behind the scenes Telegram chat to ask me any questions you'd like. Like Zeos, are you fucking on your meds? And I'm like, yeah, they up the dosage. It's great. It's just blood pressure medication. But still, I could say they up my dosage. And I'm like, ah. Um, and if you stay in the $10 chat for a little bit, you get into the lifetime swap meet channel where you can buy, sell, and trade gear. Which if you know you need to afford that new $700 SMSL P200 fucking MQA CD player. You could sell things there, get your money to, to do the thing. Yeah, I, I don't blame you. <sighs> I feel better. God, I hope there isn't another one back there. I legitimately, like, hope there isn't another CD player that I forgot about just tucked away in there. Just tucked. Fucked away in there. Anyway, back to what I was doing. Zeos doesn't uh, burn out. Zeos just burns constantly i'm sure there's a lotion for it see you all in the next one where fucking it won't be cds hopefully not for a hot fucking minute also why is the headphone out in the back of that player also here's the remote for the smsl that's it we're gone again